Hello everybody, it's me and my buddy Mick Ruff. What I'm about to show y'all right now is something I saw online and it was by a guy by the name of Michael Basden and on this first day of fall he placed out a YouTube video of a response by a well-known judge named Judge Mathis. Judge Mathis said exactly, exactly how I felt about the criminal justice system these days in regarding to the Troy Davis execution. So, let's take some time and for those who did not catch the YouTube video of Judge Mathis, let's watch it now. By now, the world is aware that Troy Davis, a 42-year-old black American from Georgia, was executed after the Supreme Court of the United States denied his 11th hour appeal. He was convicted in the 1989 murder of an off-duty Savannah, Georgia police officer, but he maintained his innocence until the very end. Davis exhausted all of his appeals in the court system, fighting to win a new trial. He presented affidavits from seven of the nine witnesses at his trial who recanted their original testimony. Despite the overwhelming doubt surrounding his guilt, Davis never received a new trial and was unjustly put to death by lethal injection. I don't like to contradict other judges, but Davis should have been granted a new trial so that he could prove his innocence. This was, without a doubt, a grave miscarriage of justice. We've long known our justice system is broken. Davis's execution shows us just how flawed the system has become. Too often, prosecutors and parole boards simply refuse to admit they are wrong or have doubts about the guilt of the accused. Our nation's governors are often unwilling to sacrifice their political careers in the name of doing the right thing. Troy Davis was failed at every step of the judicial process. America must revamp its legal system, beginning with the way we investigate and arrest suspects, and continuing to the way we prosecute them and the way we handle appeals. We must not allow prosecutors to convict an individual based solely on eyewitness testimony when new evidence is introduced or witnesses recant their testimony. A new trial should automatically be granted when this occurs. Lastly, we need a nationwide ban on the death penalty. One innocent man put to death is one too many. If we can't be certain of the legitimacy of the convictions, the practice must be halted. It is criminal that this man was executed with so much doubt surrounding his case, and Georgia has blood on its hands. You hear that, Georgia?